Well, if you're headed out west this summer, there is a new must-see show in Las Vegas. It is Cirque du Soleil's Mad Apple is joining us now to talk about the comedian who will headline the show, and that is Brad Williams. Thanks for being with us. Ta-da! Thank Ta -da! you so much. That's right, a brand new Cirque show in Las Vegas. You don't have to go to the Basketball Hall of Fame for the ninth time. You can hop on a plane, <laughs> come on out to Las Vegas, and see dwarves telling jokes along with amazing acrobatics. Sounds fun to me. This is quite the combination of like comedy, magic, mayhem, cocktails of music. It's just all in one. Yeah, uh, Cirque du Soleil has kind of changed it up, but and they sort of created a show for the ADD generation. If you don't like the traditional Cirque acrobatics, first of all, what's wrong with you? Secondly, <laughs> uh, we have musicians, we have amazing singers, dancers, we have freestyle rap people, we have comedians, we have magicians. Everything that you can get in Vegas on like eight different shows, we now have in one show condensed in a very small, nice, good looking package, must, m m much like myself as a dwarf. And uh, <laughs> that's what we have for you here at Mad Apple here at the New York, New York Hotel. I love it. And Pastor, you, you know, we're just missing you being in person because we had so much fun when you were sitting here on our couch uh, here at Great Day, formerly Better Connecticut. So we're missing you here. But this is something for the whole family, right? Even though it's got NYC nightlife in Vegas, but like you could bring the kids and everyone's going to love it. They're not going to think it's boring. Like adults and kids can do it. Well, they may find it entertaining if they're over the age of 16, because one thing about having uh, comedians in the show is that we may use some words that I don't think you want your 11 year old to hear. Oh, good uh, to know. Or if you do, wow, you're a you're a more new age parent than me. That is for darn sure. That is. And uh, also, I miss being there in studio with you guys because I'd always get free food from the cooking segments. Exactly. Unfortunately, <laughs> because of the pandemic, we don't have a whole lot of them left. But uh, Karen and I try to make something every Wednesday, Ow. but it never comes out too good. <laughs> All right, so don't blame her. Yeah, I'm blaming uh, anyway. her. But yes, uh, so so this is more of a Cirque show that is geared more towards the adults, and you can hear those filthy words that you can't necessarily say in front of your kids. But uh, it still has amazing acrobatics. Uh, the most, some of the most insanely talented musicians and singers I've ever seen in my entire life, and mind blowing magic that no matter how many times I see it, I don't know how they do the trick. Oh, my God. All right, so each act is going to reflect a different nocturnal side of New York. Is that right? Absolutely. So you can go to New York. You can go to a midnight jazz club. You can go to the Comedy Cellar and see some great comedians. You can go to a street corner and, and, and hear freestyle rap artists. We have all of this wrapped into one. And there's, like, three bars in the theater, so that oh helps, too. Oh, my God, that's awesome. You know, you've done you've done so many things, right? I mean, from comedy to movies to everything. Being in a venue like this, like, do you have a favorite? Is this is this even more exciting because it's live? It, it, it's live, but also just working for a company like Cirque and being part of an ensemble. As a comedian, I'm used to staying in a hotel alone by myself. Uh, in the Bradley Mall, right right over there at the Hartford Funny Bone. Uh, <laughs> now I have a whole ensemble around me, and uh, I have I, I have friends. I I, I I have fellow performers that we can all hang out and go through this experience together. And uh, it's really it's really been a lot of fun. And I wouldn't lie to you guys, this show doesn't suck. <laughs> <laughs> that is fantastic. That's good to know. <laughs> is it is it true you got your 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 act started, your comedian act started by a, attending a Carlos Mencina live comedy show? Yes, uh, I was in the audience. This was 18 years ago. God, my comedy act is legal. Um, <laughs> yes, I was in the audience. The comedian on stage start, started making dwarf jokes. Half the audience was laughing. The audience that was sitting by me was like, her, her. <laughs> uh, and uh, the comedian noticed and said, what, is one of them here? And I raised my creepy little hand in the air. And uh, they called me up on stage, and I started talking, and I was just being honest, but my honesty got laughs, and that was 18 years ago, and now I'm in the circus. So, hey, <laughs> it, it, it worked out. That is a fantastic story. Thank you for sharing that with us. 
course. So if we're going to head on out there, a, a lot of you know, there's people are starting to travel again. Our next segment is coming up: how to travel on a budget. But uh, what do you recommend? We get our tickets in advance. Uh, how do we make this a whole experience? Since we got to come out there from Bradley, as you know. Absolutely. Uh, you get your tickets from madapplelv.com and get to the show early. There's a whole pre-show where you can go into a private room with and do close-up magic in front of you and like maybe eight people. Uh, and then a bar transforms into the stage. The stage is a bar before the show starts. And then just like a Michael Bay directed film, it, it transforms into our Cirque du Soleil stage where then you will see all the madness happen. And, and do, you, do you literally, do you move your family out there for this whole time? Or do you just travel? How does that work? Uh, my fa my family is an hour flight away in Los Angeles, oh, that's where I'm good. from. Uh, thankfully, I get to see them a lot. I have a baby girl who is two years old. Uh, my my wife is Chinese. That means we have an Asian dwarf baby, which <laughs> I know doesn't sound even human. It sounds like a Pokemon. Uh, but she is amazing. She is delightful, and I still get to constantly see her. So I'm very thankful. For that is that's wonderful. Awesome. <laughs> well, we can't thank you enough for being with us, Brad. You're a great guy. Thank you so much for having me back and hope you back there in person someday. Yeah, we look forward to having you in person. It's great to see you. Absolutely. Thanks.